Hi girls and boys, welcome to today's spelling lesson. Today we are learning to use our hard G sound. Can you tell me what sound does hard G make? G. Excellent! Hard G makes the sound G. Now just a revision, last week we did soft G. What sound does soft G make? G. Excellent! Some people are listening and I like that. So remember... The G makes a J sound if it's followed by an E, an I, or a Y. Like Jim. Like, can you think of another one? Genius. Genius. Excellent. How about that one that has a G I? Giant. G I. Very good. And soft G, that's last week. This week we're doing hard G, words that sound, have the sound G in it. Now remember there are two ways you can make G. You can make it with one G or a double G. Okay, still makes the hard G sound. You can think of some words, help me out here, that have this, the hard G sound. Oh, I can help Mrs. Sale. Oh, what word do you think, can you think of? Goat. Goat. Now it's got to be G. I know it's definitely not an E, an I, or a Y because that's a soft G. We've got hard. So G O T. And I know that's definitely a hard G. What else has a soft G in it? A soft G, Mrs. Oh. Saleh. Ah, you're listening. What else has a hard G? I know, Mrs. Saleh. Oh, what is it? What about the word gobble? Gobble. Is it gobble or goggle? Gobble. Like gobble. I wear some goggles. Ah, that's a good one because I'm going to put that on this side here. G, because it's a hard G. I know it's not going to have E, I, or Y. It's going to be G, 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 O, and then G. What else has a hard G sound in it? Good. Can anybody? Oh, good certainly does. It's not going to be up there, G, O, D. And one more, maybe with a double G sound in it. What about foggy, Mrs. Sullivan? Foggy, that means when it's, you know, there's a lot of fog in the morning, a great descriptive word. F, O, G, E, foggy. Fabulous.